Hello, this is Brian J, and I'm signing on to talk about the Terrence Crawford uh, versus Jeff Horn fight. This is my post-fight analysis, and this fight basically went how most people thought it was going to go. Terrence Crawford was the boxer. He was fighting well on his back foot. Uh, he was countering everything Jeff Horn was trying to do. Jeff Horn was trying to be rough and dirty uh, on the inside. He was rushing forward, trying to lunge him with his head, trying to get a bunch of headbutts. And trying to trying to elbow Crawford and and hit him do rabbit punching and and trying to hit him on the side of the head and doing doing a lot of dirty uh, tactics. But you know it didn't phase Terence Crawford, who was a, supposed to be the smaller fighter coming up. Uh, Crawford uh, was turned out to be just as strong as Jeff Horn on the inside within the clinch, and Crawford was countering well uh, in the first two three rounds. Crawford was trying to figure him out, see what Jeff Horn was trying to do. And then he made adjustments and adapted, and then he just started to destroy, uh, dominate Jeff Horn after the first three rounds. I mean, I, I gave Crawford, I only gave Jeff Horn maybe the the first round and maybe the seventh round, but I think Crawford won every single other round, and he won by TKO. He destroyed Jeff Horn. He started dominating him in, the, in round eight and started landing some really good body shots. And I thought he got a knockdown at the end of the eighth round, but it wasn't called a knockdown. But in the ninth round. Uh, Crawford came on strong, and he and he was hurting uh, Jeff Horn with his punches, his 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 left, his right. He was fighting well with the southpaw stance, and he dropped uh, Jeff Horn with the left, and Jeff Horn went down. And you know, Robert Bird did a, a standing eight count, and then uh, Crawford just just destroyed him. He just overwhelmed Jeff Horn, and he won by TKO. So this is great for Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford has destroyed Jeff Horn. He's won the WBO belt. And now Crawford has the option of fighting Manny Pacquiao or fighting Errol Spence or Keith Thurman or the winner of the Danny Garcia-Sean Porter fight because the winner of the Danny Garcia-Sean Porter fight will win the WBC belt and Keith Thurman has the WBA belt and Errol Spence Jr. has the IBF belt. So Terrence Crawford has the WBO belt. So he has to fight Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, and the winner of the Porter-Garcia fight to become the undisputed champion. And I think Terrence Crawford, he could do it. I think a fight between him and Errol Spence is a 50-50 fight. That's a great fight on paper. I think it's a fantastic fight. I love both of those fighters. I'm a huge fan of Errol Spence. I'm a big fan of Terrence Crawford. And I think the winner of that fight, well, winner of that fight will be a unified champion, but they'll be they'll be ready to fight uh, uh, Keith Thurman or Sean Porter or Danny Garcia sometime next year. I hope Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence fight each other this year or early next year. Um, I think that would be a great fight, and I I picked Terrence Crawford to win because he's a more versatile boxer than Errol Spence because he could fight well as orthodox, southpaw. He could switch his stances very well. He's a very accurate counterpuncher. I think he's smarter in the ring, but Errol Spence is also very intelligent, and he has great uh, effective aggression. He's very effective with his aggression, and he goes to the body well, and he he's very accurate with his power punches. He goes from the body to the head. He's a great southpaw. He's very strong on the inside, so... That'd be a great fight. I hope Crawford fights uh, Errol Spence. But that's my thoughts on on the fight between Crawford and Jeff Horn. Fight winners we, we expected. There were a few uh, nervous moments here or there, but Crawford stayed composed and he destroyed Jeff Horn. So this is Brian Jay and signing off for now.